hello you guys um I'm on borrowed time I'm at my second job and yeah this is going to be a journey I have a full schedule I'm glad I built up enough face breaking out gotta cut out the dairy anyway I have enough time at my other job to take vacation days for the days that I have to be here on mandatory Monday through Thursday schedule was normally my free days but as of this week I am on a second job normally I'll be working second shift but we have to do training so I'm here early as you could tell lack of sleep um I want to talk about the journey of forgiveness and why I chose that for this video recently I called myself doing some soul searching and I want to say I came across a couple things that I already knew that was in phrase from the past of course it has something to do with best friend because it's from the past but it's like appreciating the fact that forgiveness is not for that person and understanding why it's for yourself I've always heard people say, don't forgive them for them, forgive them for you. Never understood it until, I want to say the last, these last few days. Uh, going into forgiveness, first thing I'll say, I have forgiven a lot of people over the course of this last year like fully forgave i used to say i forgive you but i would hold on to the things that they have done to me now i'm at the place where i actually i actually do forgive them i don't hold no hurt behind it i understand what happened happened when i say i fully forgive it means i have an understanding of why I should let go. I have an understanding of completely what happened. I have, I have an understanding of why I don't even bother me anymore. It's irrelevant into everything I have going on. It doesn't help me. It doesn't benefit me. So why hold on to it? I have an understanding of that now. And I say that because recently I know I was digging in the past but I didn't mean to this time. I was on my old page, my Faye All Day page, and I ran across old posts, like uh, memories. And it was memories of when I was in a situation with best friend, of course, and when we were working. And one of them, like, it was like us having fun at work so there's no big harm to it it was like the beginning of us getting the job like around this time 2018 we had just got the job we were hanging out we were still just regular friends at the time and then one of those memories came across of us having that job and it's like dang it's actually been three whole years officially and yeah it kind of hit different so i clicked on of course the page he was blocked i unblocked him a while ago i know it's a foolish thing to do but like i said i don't hold no grudges i'm not looking for anything but i unblocked him and as i did that i clicked on his page and seen that he were friends with the people that he didn't want me to be friends with which i'm not mad because there's nothing between us there haven't been anything between us in the last what year and a half two years maybe but it's like looking back at all the arguments we had about these people and these women to see that he's facebook friends with them and they're cool and it just confirms that when i thought he was messing around with him he was 
And when I thought he was on bullshit about me being friends with people from work, he was. Because even though we are not anything anymore, and it's years later, I say years because it's more than one. To see that, it don't, it don't really do nothing to my feelings. It really just make me laugh because it's like you, you did all that crying about me having friends from work on my Facebook what I post, who they were. And the same women you said you wasn't messing around with are all friends on your Facebook. And from what was pub posted publicly on your page, y'all are very much cool, probably outside of work. I put no further thought into it because it's none, it's none of my business. And it makes me know, never mind. But that helped me understand why forgiveness is not for the other person. Because while you sitting there holding on to the hurt that they did to you, they moved on with themselves. They're not stopping what they have going on based off them hurting you. So why would you hold on to their hurt? And now, I mean, I, I, as previous videos, I let that go a long time ago. But to come to confirmations after all this time, it is kind of a good feeling that I'm not... I was never tripping. I was standing my ground. I was setting boundaries. And yeah. That's one way to get out my hurt. It's like now. As of the time I seen the post. I can honestly say I forgive. You forgive but you do not forget. I forgive because. I got no hurt behind that shit no more. I've been lost my friendship. I've two years. Recovered. Well, I'll say a year because I still was answering calls and everything. Even now, text messages. I just know now when I want to get him off my phone, just tell him I love him and he'd go about his business. Or tell him I want to sleep with him and he'd go about his business. I know it's childish and I got to find a better way to deal with it. And I know most say would just stop answering. It's like, cool, yeah, I can stop answering, but I part of me still hold on to that friend don't ask me why it's not nothing to where I want them back or anything cause trust you me last thing on my radar but yeah I can honestly say I forgive him for all that he have done I do recognize that he was a narcissist no matter what I have no matter what I would have done even if it was in his favor I would have always been wrong and it would have always been my fault letting go showed me that um venturing back into the past even though you shouldn't do that i see the real side of him noticing that i've seen him do this to other people so no i'm not shocked i am no longer hurt i did the healing of that and why because i because all he did was show me that i was not special he did this so he was always him he just showed me that i was not special so yeah, like I keep saying, there's no hurt behind it. Another reason for forgiveness is I've had conversations about my parent and, well, both of my parents, really. What happened when I was younger between the ages of birth to 10, when my, well, 9, when my father passed. Um, afterwards, between the ages of 16 to when I had my second child, the things that were said and done to me by parents, I was able to let that go. Like, seriously, let that go. Like, I hate saying it because it sound bad and me and my mother is in a good place now and I moved past it. Even back then, I, I held no hurt on it, but it was said to me, it's like, all the things she have said to me at one point she did say she wished she never had me and it's like yeah cool and then she wished I was no longer here anymore and it's like to go back to those times and to look at where we at now I forgive her I don't hold no hurt behind it because I would have stopped talking to her and I left it be and I would have had to listen to everybody in my life tell me you only get one mother for the rest of my life but I chose to let that hurt go back when it was said. It's like I laughed it off. I can't necessarily say it hurt because I never took it seriously. But to hear it, I could say on the other end of the person saying it, it was some type of hurt behind it. And in the sense of me being forgiven, 
I would apologize for whatever hurt I caused that person during that time to make them say that. Well, my mother. And I would say I really don't hold too much hurt from her. I still have healing to do for certain things, but it is not what she did to me personally because certain things she did to me physically or mentally I kind of move past that I'm kind of the person who's just like yeah whatever move forward it nothing really stuck as far as her saying anything or doing anything to me it's more so like the environment we was around things that happened around us that's probably like the only trauma I still have but as I keep saying, I'm at the level of forgiveness, and I mean fully forgive. I can sleep that night. I ain't crying over what happened to me. I understand certain things and how they fall the way they fall. More so because I'm a parent and I'm going through some of it now. Like, my kids doesn't have a father of their own. He's alive. In my case, my father wasn't alive, and the people that my mama had around us wasn't necessarily good role models, but they were lessons of life. My kids don't have anyone around them. I refuse to bring anyone around them that I don't feel is a responsible role model. Yes, I am dating. No, they are not around my kids. They do not meet my kids. My kids are off limits. But yeah. Um, my kid's father. That's another th for like forgiveness. That's another thing I forgive. I don't hold any hurt behind him. I can honestly say that. Um, I'm past our relationship, been past our relationship. Uh, I still hold memories that makes me smile, but it doesn't mean I want him back. It just means that time in my life was an okay time, and I'm entitled to still carry that happiness from that memory. It doesn't necessarily mean I have to want that person back. There's things in our relationship that I still smile about because it's still joyous and happy. Like my the present, some of my pregnancy moments with my kids and some of the things we have done before we had kids when it was just one. Like I could still smile about it because we were friends. We were homies. I don't, I don't hate the guy. I don't want him, but I don't hate him. I, um, I had trauma from the relationship, but we did. Th I did some therapy on it. I don't hold no grudges. I wish we could be friends now. I would rather be his friend now so we could talk about certain things. I don't have to come from a hurtful place, but I want the kids to get in an environment where both parents are able to cordially be around each other. There is no hate. We're not trying to take each other's heads off. We're not wishing bad upon each other. And we can welcome each other's spouse because at the end of the day, like I keep saying, I don't want them just want to be friends like co-parent like we supposed to be be healthy have my kids into a healthy environment i forgive him because a lot of the things he did really it was like financial setbacks and to me my finances and my kids is my biggest drive to be able to successfully take care of myself without the help of, of others to be able to take care of my kids with little help because I ain't gonna say with no help from others because child I be <sighs> needing people with this parents and stuff and then I have a teenager so I would like that I would like our decisions to be mutual instead of being one sided I don't want to make all the decisions for my kids because they have more than just me as a parent just right now financially and physically I am the only one taking care of them I wish it was different but it's not and other reasons why I say I forgive him is because without the lessons of life with him in his chapters that he was in, I probably wouldn't have made it this far. I probably would have held on to people longer than I should have, even though I've done that. But it could be worse. It could be five, ten years down the line and I'm realizing that this person ain't for me. He's the only person I wasted ten years on. He's the only person that he was the hardest to let go. 
but the lessons from him made it easier for me to recognize it in other people and I could say other other than he also was a person that because he was so filtered on himself at one point and I probably drove him to that point of oh, only thinking about himself that he showed me how to get over other people that's like him that only a, the world really just revolves around them no matter what you say or do they're going to only think about themselves no matter how much you love them they don't really care and yeah because of him I'm able to walk away I still have trauma from certain things but it was easier to walk away the second time than it was that first time because he was that first time and yeah I haven't had kids by nobody else so I don't have anything to hold on to when I walk away so yes I fully forgive you without that lesson I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be able to appreciate the presence he had in my life I wouldn't be able to recognize certain things in my kids if I did not forgive him I wouldn't be able to enjoy my son if I did not forgive him so yeah everybody else who has wronged me or hurt me or portrayed me or pretended to be my friend to get whatever it is they wanted out of me just to put me in a position to let them go I forgive them too they weren't like I keep saying what well, everybody was being themselves it was me that thought I held weight in their lives and I just found out the hard way that I didn't with those lessons I am able to move forward going into the future I am okay with it just being me and my kids I welcome friends but only genuine friends and that is that is all because I have my lunch break is over I have to go Talk to you guys later.